Khoidoch, good day fellow South Africans and citizens of the world. Well, in South Africa, the screw up by the absolutely incompetent, hopeless people calling themselves members of parliament from the ANC just continues and just compounds. And we're talking about one of the fundamental costs when it comes to anything you buy in South Africa, and that is transport and delivery. Seeing that the trains no longer run because the tracks have been stolen, and uh, the ANC have just destroyed Praza and Transnet. Well, the last thing left standing are the roads, which are now full of millions of potholes, thanks to Ramaphosa and his goons. This is what's happening. Now remember, diesel plays a very big part when it comes to the price of electricity in South Africa. Diesel prices in South Africa shot up by one rand forty per litre today. That was yesterday, the 2nd of November, 2022. With alarm bells ringing for further pain coming in December. The season of cheer. Christmas. You know, that period when you're supposed to relax and go with your family to a lovely, safe place to enjoy and get some kind of a relaxation happening in your life, well, good luck in South Africa. In light of surging global prices and supply constraints, the diesel price has hiked by about 1 rand 40 per litre, taking the inland wholesale price to over 25 rand per litre. That's $2.50. Australian per litre and probably to close to two US dollars per litre. And settling back, diesel drivers between 1,200 and 2,000 rand to fill up a tank from empty. And we're not talking about uh, big trucks, we're talking about, you know, the four-wheel drive that takes diesel. That, that's close to 200 Australian dollars per tank. Think about it. Diesel prices have been under strain for a few months, driven upwards by international demands for the fuel compounded by local factors. And of course, this is all part of the World Economic Forum's plan when it comes to subjugating the populations of the world so that they will comply with a one world government. Speaking to Cape Talk, independent energy researcher Hilton Trollope said that the US and Europe diesel shortage has ripple effects on the cost per litre in South Africa. Bloomberg reports that portions of Europe are facing a low diesel supply with the loss of Russian stocks combined with disruption to French production, leaving parts of Europe short in the United States. Meanwhile, the Energy Information Administration, or EIA, reported that distillate inventories were at their lowest level since 2008. Now, you remember what happened in 2008? Yeah, that's when Lehman Brothers and all this shit was happening and the fiat monetary system nearly collapsed. Think about it. Near the end of last month, international conglomerate Goldman Sachs Group said that the diesel appears scarce heading into the Northern Hemisphere's winter, and this will in turn push fuel prices higher. While international shortages seem far removed from South Africa, Trollope said we are definitely impacted by them. He said international prices have more than doubled, with the oil price going up as it has. He said... Locally, we used to have large oil reserves, but we have sold those off. Get that? The ANC government sold them off. We used to have working oil refineries, but most of these have closed. Get that? Under the ANC, 
the oil refineries in South Africa, apart from Cecil, have closed. Thank you, Black Economic Empowerment. So we have to import most of the diesel that we use or get it from Sassel. However, Trollop noted that while Sassel's production prices stay the same, the group charges international market prices. So when international prices go up, so do local prices. Peter Morgan, the chief executive officer of the Liquid Fuel Wholesalers Association, said we are at the whim of global forces and possible delays if shipments encounters problems. Now, I just want to say before we go on that if you haven't prepped and you're in South Africa or anywhere else, to be quite frank, then seriously, you're an idiot because things are going pear-shaped around the world and it's the people who've prepped who've got food, who've got matches, who've got candles, who've got a plan B, who are going to actually come through this. Just like the, the COVID situation, you've got to think outside the box. It's that simple. South African domestic prices also link directly with the global economy, including fuel sale numbers in countries abroad. Stock levels in different markets globally, the behavior of oil producing economies or OPEC and other geopolitical issues which can interfere with operations. One of the biggest ways South Africans are affected by rising diesel prices right now is through you got it. Load shedding. Trollope noted that ESCOM and independent producers currently have around 4,000 megawatts of power on diesel generators. Typically, these are only used in emergencies or when there is a sudden peak in demand. But recently, ESCOM has been using these generators nonstop. He said that as prices increase and supply falls short, the risk of higher stages of load shedding goes up. That's why I'm suggesting to anyone who watches Loving Life TV or is here on The Truth on YouTube, if you're in South Africa, get yourself off the grid. Put those solar panels up now. Don't wait. Because what you're seeing right now, I believe, is only the tip of an iceberg. I would not be surprised if ESCOM completely collapses and there is no electricity on that grid. So guys, just be careful about this because it's going to change everything in South Africa. The South African supply chain and consumers will also be significantly impacted by growing local prices and increased worldwide demand for fuels, according to the Truck Association of South Africa, Agri-SA and the Road Freight Association. President of the Truckers Association of South Africa, Mary Fadi, said that higher diesel prices have a drastic effect on the freight industry its drivers and the businesses that rely on them. She said that more businesses are going to go bust as pressures on transporters mounts. This is in turn affecting clients. Now, remember that if you live in a place like Johannesburg, what you buy has got to be trucked up to you. And as the cost of trucking goes up, believe me, no one who's supplying those goods is going to carry those costs. You, the consumer, will be. So expect prices to go strongly north. Anyway, let's continue. This lady, Mary Fardy, said, If this continues, we could see fewer trucks on the roads as it will become too expensive to transport goods. 
The Ferrode Freight Association CEO, Gavin Kelly, said, Diesel is the fuel source used by most transport companies in South Africa. It is the energy source that drives our logistics chain. Basically, ESCOM and IPPs have 4,000 megawatts of diesel generators. Usually they are used when there is a sudden drop in supply or in the evening peak, but they've been used there to supply constant power because of the shit happening under black economic impound. While it is too early in the month to determine what lies ahead for diesel prices in December, the daily snapshots from the Central Energy Fund for the start of the month show prices are already climbing. As of the 1st of November, fluctuations in international product prices and RAND weaknesses already show an under-recovery of about 1 Rand 40 per litre, as I said at the start of this video. If these market conditions persist for the rest of November, another steep hike is on the cards next month. Please remember to register on LovingLifeTV.com to be kept informed. That's where I carry stuff I can't carry here on YouTube. Please subscribe to The Truth on YouTube to be kept informed about Loving Life TV. Please like this video. Please share this video. And above all, do not get, you know what? <laughs>